Hello everybody. In this video we're going to show you how to weigh your grades using assignment groups in Canvas. So if you go to your assignments area, the first step is to create different groups. So to do that, you're going to go up and click on the plus group. So I'm going to create a discussion group first. So we'll call it discussions. I'm going to create a separate group for my research paper. I'll just call it research paper. I will create a group for the midterm and one for the final. So I'm doing that plus group, typing in the name and then clicking save. All right, so now I have all these groups here. I'm going to leave assignments just for those now you try exercises. So those are fine where they are. But now we can drag the items to their appropriate group. There's two ways to do it. You can click on the little handles next to the item. So right now I have the research paper and I'm clicking and dragging it down underneath the research paper group. And I could do this for the discussions as well. Here's the introduction discussion. And then I have two other discussions. I'll show you the other way to do it. If you have a lot of items, it might be hard to do the drag and drop. So you can go all the way to the right of the item, click on the three dots, and then select move to. And here you can choose the group here. So I'm moving this to the discussions group. And then I can choose if I want it at the top. I don't. I kind of want it after. I'll just put it at the bottom. Click on the blue move button. And there it is. You can see it's moved it down there. So there's two ways to move stuff. I'm just going to, I like the old drag and drop. Move the final here. And then lastly, the midterm. Okay, so here we have everything's in its appropriate group. And just before we do this, I did want you to look at how this will affect a student. So let's open up the grades so you can see. And I'm going to show you the student view of the grades. So to do that, you just go to your grade book and click on the name of your student and then click on grades. And currently, this student's getting a D according to my grading scheme, but she's right on the border with 68%. So 70% is a C in my grade scheme. Gives you a breakdown of what she's got percentage wise, and that's how canvas adds up the grades so I've got a total of 223 points and her grade is based on her score of 153 points out of 223 not too great but she did do really well on the final I wanted I did this on purpose so she's she did pretty well on the final uh, but the midterm uh, kind of bombed the midterm here the way I want to do the weighted grades is to have the final kind of worth more than the midterm so to do that, let's go back to our assignments here. And now that we have everything in the groups, we'll go up to the right, click on the three dots. And here you can choose assignment groups weight. Check the box that says weight final grade based on assignment groups. So in this case, I have three 10 point assignments. They're kind of the bulk of what I want my students to know how to do. So I'm going to make these worth 30% um, of the grade. Okay. The discussions are also quite important. There's three discussions and I'm going to make those also 30%. Uh, the research paper, I'll just make it worth 10% just because no real reason here. And that leaves me with 30% here. Um, maybe I'll make the discussions worth 20%. And then the midterm I can make worth 15% uh, there, which leaves me with the final, which I can make worth 25% of the grade. And that gives me a total of 100%. When you're doing weighted grades, it has to add up to 100. And then you click on Save. OK. And you can see in the upper right corner in these groups, it actually tells you the little percentage of what, what it's worth. So let's take a look and see how that affected my student here. We'll go to poor old Jane, who only has currently a D. If I refresh this, let's see. Now she's up to a C because 
None of her scores changed. It's just the fact that I weighted these categories differently. So I gave the final a little more importance than the midterm. Jane now has a C, which is good for Jane. And that's it. That's how you weigh grades in Canvas. Thanks for watching.